Okay, so just imagine she's in a red dress, they're in baseball uniforms. Should we take a look? learned that she, uh, her name wasn't Marilyn Monroe. She uh, grew up and had a really abusive mom, and uh, she uh, was a whole other person before she became Marilyn Monroe. So I think she's, she's got a whole double life she was leading. I just always, you know, you grow up in America, or even in all different countries, you know that classic beauty. I didn't know how soft and sensual she was. All I really knew were the characters she played, and they were sort of more eccentric and big and vibrant and a little over the top and she as a person was very very more demure and sweet and I mean she was always sweet in her movies but there was a just a, a gentleness to her that I think uh, as a person I just really have like loved getting to know and her upbringing and all that kind of stuff has been really fascinating to me. I think I'm learning about her dedication to the craft of acting. Uh, she wasn't necessarily just someone who was interested in being an icon. She w worked very hard to be someone of substance in terms of her, her job, that of an actor. And uh, that is something that there, there's light being shed on that that I find very interesting because I'm, I, I admit that I, I had a kind of a generalized idea of her, but I am learning that she was very, very serious about the craft of acting. She's everywhere. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. I feel like the, when we started working on the show, you walk into Starbucks, you walk past an art gallery, you walk past an art shop. I mean, every little souvenir shop in the city has little figurines. Or she just will not go away. She's yeah. forever. I love that she was so passionate passionate about everything that she did and everything that she believed in. I think she's always been an incredible artist, actress, and uh, uh, very underrated. I, she's so gifted when you look at her work. How she does everything so effortlessly. I find little things every day, but I just think she's an amazing woman, and I'm thrilled to be doing a show that she's like so much a part of. It's pretty cool. Just got a date. She's just got a date with baseball's Chilton Joe. The lucky so and so. So run me round the bases, put me through my paces, and teach me all the things a slugger's lover. Oh.